Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the PM Silver Bullet on August 11th. It's Friday. Now this gray box here is the 12 o'clock noon till 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time range, okay? So it's got the high, got the low, and that's, you know, these lines just extend out, and that's what this box is showing. In an ICT's video, one of those videos before, he said that what he looks for in the, in the afternoon is the high or the low to be taken out, a reversal, and to go and target the opposing range, okay? So this is going to start the 2 p.m. silver bullet hour, and what we see is that liquidity has already been taken right there. Yeah, it's only by a wick, um, by, you know, maybe yeah, two ticks. It's still being taken right there. So now we're looking for a reversal. What do we need? We need either this high or this swing high to be taken. Okay, so let's go candle by candle. I'm going to buy or sell based on what we're doing here, and uh, let's see what happens. Definitely takes out the market structure shift. Now you can use this one because that is the, the high that created the low. It's the same candle though, so I just use the higher one, that's all. You could even use this one if you really wanted to. It just is a higher one. It's just either way. That or that would be what I would be using. It's the same candle, so it's fine. All right, so now we need, okay. All right, so there we have a fair value gap right there. And then we also have this very small volume imbalance right there. Okay, so if price comes back in down here, I'm going to take, I'm going to buy two contracts. And then it doesn't. Okay. All right. So when I'm looking back over here, I see a fair value gap here. And then it breaks through it. So that would be an inversion fair value gap. So I'm going to mark that on the chart here. Inversion fair value gap. So if we get a order, I place in my limit order right here at the at the inversion fair value gap and make my stop below the second fair value gap knowing that it could trade back in here but this if if i took a trade at the top of the inversion fair value gap i'd have the inversion fair value gap as one pd array a volume balance as a second and then this fair value gap as a third pd array holding price and if i really wanted to have it one tick here i'd also have this volume balance as well you have four pd arrays you know protecting price so if it comes down into this inversion for value gap, I'm taking a trade. What right, it entered right there. Ooh, bad fill, but we're taking it. Now my my line would have been right here, so I'm losing, you know, a full point there. But it's fine. I'll 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 take it from that my you can see here where I would have had entered and one one tick below the, the volume imbalance here. Let's mark that here just so you see it. Right here. So the volume imbalance. Just so you see it as well. So one tick below that. So I've got all four PD rays holding price. I'm pretty happy with that. I take partials right here and obviously we're we're shooting for this top here. That's why that's right here at nine and a half. Uh, 2.47 R trade. So I need to have a candle close above this for a, and that's right at the new week opening gap for a partial, and I'd get out there. So let's see how it trades up. That's hitting the 130 opening price. retracement could have had a second entry right there if you wanted to since it is still holding price there still don't expect it to break here so you could pyramid get another entry in you know what for the sake of the video I will uh, I'll buy two more contracts and it'd be the same it'd be the, the same one right here same same exact thing so when I come up, what goes up here, I'm going to take off two and then take off two. It comes up there. So, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so since we, since we added a second one, I'd probably take a partial out above this high for one, take one contract off. So if I was live trading this, this that's how I would do this. I did not take a second entry here, but if I was was on this one, I would take a partial right here. Let me mark it on the chart so you can see what I'm doing here. Because we have four contracts, I'm going to take one off here. So I'm going to sell one there. And if we get a close above this candle, I'll take another one off. My stops at break even, so if it takes me out, then I'm, a, I'm, I'm done. Alright, so I gotta take another one off there, because that's right where we said we would. And let's see, and right there is one. Alright, that would have taken us out, so I'll flatten it there, so obviously we got to fill like right here. So we're getting really bad fills, they're not really where they're really supposed to be at, so. I know on the screen it looked like I would have, I would have one tick above this would have taken us out, but in reality we were down here, so it would have been here, we would have been fine. So trading view is a little hard to gauge. Uh, let's see how it trades the rest of the, comes back down to the, the, 130 opening price you see that you have a fair value gap right here mark that here you can also use this as a mitigation block if you wanted to but we already got our our trades in we're not continuing on here just showing you what happens the rest of the hour We know that when you come to the PM session, we're looking for the low or the high of the lunch hour to be taken out. If it is taken out, then we go, we're looking for a reversal and we're looking to take out the other side. We saw it came to the chart. We know that sell side was already taken here. Okay. We had a market structure shift left behind a fair value gap, volume imbalance, another volume imbalance, and then we had this inversion fair value gap right here. Okay. Price came down. And we took our trade, came up to the, to the 130 opening price, and then came back down. We got another entry, same exact spot. Price is holding that inver inversion fair value gap, and we had four PDRAs protecting our, our our stop. Felt very confident in our in our stop placement. We took a partial above this old high, and then we moved our stop to break even, and then we waited. We took another partial here. And then we got out at our TP when it got hit at the top here. You could have taken another trade here if you wanted in this, this fair value gap. And to go long, we didn't and place that trade because we already took two trades here and we got, you know, $1,100. We're done for the day. So there's your two silver bullet trades for Friday, August 11th.